Tell me what your plans are in Washington. You're talking about um, demonstrating the urgency, uh, the need for the For the People Act, the need for a federal backstop for voting rights, obviously the dramatic move that you and your colleagues um, have made to get yourselves to D.C., uh, really at the point of the spear here. Tell some of that story yourself. But do you have plans, the Senate's in session this week, uh, to take individual meetings with senators, to talk to Republican senators? Do you have plans uh, to speak with members of the administration or anybody else who you think might be might be key to this process? Well, we, we are very aware that the you know, president of the United States will, will address the nation on voting rights. We're keenly aware that the leader Schumer has indicated the domestic agenda uh, needs to happen before the August recess. Not a single member on this bus wants anyone in the United States Senate to go home thinking everything is fine with voting rights in America. Let's take a break. We are here to state our case. Those meetings are developing as we sit here on the ground. Uh, we've only mm. been here minutes on the ground. You caught us first. I think we want to get to the hotel. We want to check in with our families. Uh, and we do have a meeting first thing tomorrow morning. And you, you, would, you should expect to see us on Capitol Hill before lunch tomorrow. Representative Martinez Fisher, uh, could you, I don't know if you've got a handheld phone or if you have a laptop that I'm talking to you on. Is there any way you can lift it up so I can see your colleagues behind you there on the bus? I can see a few of them. I want to get a sense of who I'm. Hello, Texas Democrats. <laughs> it's Rachel Maddow here. Hi. I'll tell you, the whole country is watching. The whole country is watching right now. What you are doing is something that could not be done without your commitment to do this uh, in the way that you have done it, putting yourselves on the line. Thank you for helping us understand. And good luck in these next few days. Good luck. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Democratic Texas State Representative Trey Martinez Fisher. I will get you on the union roster for that little bit of camera work there. I appreciate it, my friend. Hey, I'm going to get my SAC card, that's for sure. <laughs> exactly. That's right. All right. Fascinating. Texas Democrats, more, again, more than 50 of them have left the state of Texas tonight. And it is a tactic that... Um, Listen, Texas Democrats did this in 2003 ahead of a radical partisan redistricting of the state of Texas. And they left the state. And as I said, uh, governor at the time sent state troopers after them. And it was a huge standoff and it was a big deal. And ultimately, the redistricting plan went through. But the eyes of the nation were upon it. In this case, they haven't just fled the state because that denies the quorum. They have fled the state specifically to come to Washington because Washington is the one place this disaster in Texas and this disaster in every other state where Republicans are rolling back voting rights can be fixed. If there is a federal voting rights backstop at the federal level, then states will not have the option to bring their voting rights down below a floor set at the federal level. It doesn't mean that the federal government will run elections. It doesn't mean that every state will run them exactly the same way. It will just mean there is a floor below which voter suppression will not be allowed to sink. That is why the Texas Democrats are in Washington, not just because they needed to get out of the state. They did, but they could have gone anywhere. They are in Washington because the For the People Act is the only answer at this point. The Voting Rights Act has been gutted in the courts. There is not recourse in the courts. There is no political recourse for Republicans who do not care about the political blowback from this because they know the changes they were making will insulate them from Democratic repercussions. The only way to solve this problem, senators, the only way to solve this problem is for the United States Senate to pass something like the For the People Act, to backstop voting rights at the federal level. That's what Texas Democrats are there for. And it sounds like they're there indefinitely. Again, they, they, are, they have not yet left the grounds of the airport. They say they will be on Capitol Hill tomorrow morning before lunchtime to make their case. It's a dramatic thing and maybe the only thing that could have happened here.